most of the focus was in the United States or in Europe, and now, of course, we're seeing a lot more competitions in Korea, even some competitions in South America as well. So the travel has been very, very heavy, but um, it's hard to it's hard to miss these types of composite, uh, competitions. Every single time I'm invited uh, or asked to go out to another one, I just get so excited because you get the front row seat to watch the greatest players in the world go at it. And uh, I think it's great for the growth of competitive gaming around the globe. Sweden has uh, a lot of good gamers, uh, especially in StarCraft 2. Why do you think that is? Do you have a theory? Um, well, my theory is a little silly because uh, I feel like, um, you know, Koreans have always been known as, as some of the best gamers in the world as well. And I always tell people that, well, maybe the same water that is in Korea is also in Sweden, which of course is insane. But, you know, I, I don't know. I think it is uh, something to do with the, the hard work, the attitude that a lot of the Swedes hold. I mean, you mentioned StarCraft too, but for me, Swedes go all the way back to Counter-Strike with Ninjas in Pajamas and, and Quake with Toxic. And we have all of these amazing players and amazing names that have created such an amazing name for Sweden in the gaming world. I mean, when you consider who stacks up against who, a lot of people say, well, Korea is uh, very high up there. But when it comes to overall gaming, I think a lot of people, including myself, would say Sweden.